Hello everyone, Amadorn here, and welcome back to the Lifecraft server. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm doing well. Our community Christmas tree is in the background over there, and I have placed the gift for the person that I got in the Secret Santa drawing over there under the tree. I'm not going to say who it is or what I've given them. Okay, so with that taken care of and out of the way, I think I want to head down here to the community storage area that I've been working on and see what I can't get up to. Now, I need hoppers and I need um, droppers and I need to start putting together a list of things that I need to finish off the, um, the mechanics behind all of this. Um, and I need to get a bunch of chests down here now. Now, since it is the holidays, of course, all of the chests have turned into Christmas presents. There's coal in this one. So, I think things are doing pretty good. Um, I have a lot of work that I need to do. So, I'm just going to get busy and start working on some of this stuff and see how far I can get. I'm just wrapping up a stop here at the Skelly Farm as I have uh, been taking advantage of the Christmas present that I was given and enchanting some gear. I now have a Efficiency 2 Mending Fortune 3 pickaxe, a Silk Touch Mending Efficiency 2 pickaxe, an Efficiency 2 and Mending Axe, and I have a Silk Touch Mending Diamond Shovel. Um, I also have uh, a set of diamond gear all with mending on it. And I've managed to put together a halfway decent uh, golden helmet. And I've got a couple of boots here that I could use really, you know, I could combine these and do something pretty decent with those. And I've managed to put together a halfway decent bow off of the skelly drops. That I've gotten out of the farm. Um, things have been doing pretty good here. I don't know who made this farm, but it works really well. I really like it. Makes it pretty easy to repair gear, which I'll probably end up making several trips over here throughout the season to, to repair gear and do some enchanting. Um, I really could use an enchanting area over here, though. I wonder if they would let me build one. I'll have to see if I can figure out who built this and ask. It would be nice. I, I can hear some stuff going on up top, too, so... I'll be honest, I'm not totally sure exactly where I am. I don't think I'm too far from the ravine base. But, uh... You know, I came, came here over here through the nether, so I don't... I am I'm not entirely sure certain where I'm at. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and head into the nether and head over to the ravine. Okay, so I'm back over here at the ravine. Um, I honestly haven't had uh, much progress done over here. Um, you know, I, I don't think folks are putting stuff into these as of yet. Um, I, and, of course, I don't have any of the mechanisms set up yet, which might be one reason why people haven't been using it yet. Um, but it's, you know, I I need so much. The, the number of hoppers I'm going to need is crazy. Plus, I, I definitely need to like dig this wall out just a couple of blocks, you know, a few blocks more, and maybe down a little bit for some of the mechanisms. Um but so far, things are going pretty good over here. I, I, I just, I, I've been busy with um, other things and have not had a chance. It looks like some folks have been building some other stuff. There's a house over there and some nice bridging going on over here. Um, looks like there's a geode of some sort of a there. Um, and then the tower over there um, seems to be where the nether portal is hooking up, up to um, for the area. So, the, you know, pretty decent. Um, some decent progress I've seen from other folks here in the ravine. Although I believe most of them are currently... Uh, there are several folks on right now. They're working on a stream. Um, they are over in the mushroom biome where they are working on a trading hall, which will be pretty cool. I see the Christmas tree is still up. Um, so, yeah, I really haven't had, had much progress over here yet 
Um, I, I've been over at the... Oh, that's cool. Um, I've been over at the community... Or uh, at the in progress. Let's see. Bubba Elevator, Down Cave, Slime Farm, Dig in Progress, Spider Farm, Villager Traders, Pearls for Stronghold Finding. Okay, so <clears throat> I have been over uh, at a new area that I have set up. We go over here back to the nether. Um, in order to get the resources that I need for the community storage area, I have kind of set up an area where we can just dig for stuff. Let's see. Uh, not that direction. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Here's the Skelly Farm. Yep, industrial strip mine. Uh, that's the Iron Farm, um, which is pretty cool. It's design I've used quite a few times. Um, I think Master Swirl set up the iron farm. Um, I've been over there. It's pretty cool. Okay, so down this tunnel here, um, a little ways. Do do do. You know, I don't have any gold. Left. Maybe I should do that in case I run into some hoglins or pig piglins. All right, here we go. All right, so here's my industrial area. For some reason, when I built this portal, it, it showed up on the roof of this house. Um, it works, but it, it's a weird location. And, you know, I I decided to just leave it there. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know, kind of cool. At, at least up there, I don't have to worry about villagers trying to, trying to get in through it. Um, this is, I think this is a double village, because there's a church here, and then there's another church over here, so it's like when the world was generating, it, it created this, uh, it's like a double village. Um, we've got plenty of folks around here. Um, I do have a small crop farm down set up down here. Um, folks seem to be getting out, um, okay, so these pumpkins are causing problems, because people are accidentally getting outside of the fences due to it. So let's get these guys back in here. Come on, guys. There you go. There you go. In here. <coughs> um, it is getting close to night time. Hey, bud. Over here. Yep. Oh, darn. That's that's not good. I, I didn't mean to. Okay, the second time I meant to. But, um, I can go in the water. Look, bud. Bud, this way. This way. That iron golem's probably not very happy with me. Since I, like, hit this villager twice. Let's go to bed here. There we go. Come on. We have multiplayer sleep on, but we've got it set up so that people can, like, interrupt it if they were, like, needing nighttime for something. Right, there we go. 
Yeah, if I get too close to him, he'd probably try to kill me. Um, okay, so we've got that. Yeah, so this crop farm is basically just here to, to, you know, for my own needs. Or for my needs while I'm, you know, digging and stuff. And I can use it to trade, you know, crops to villagers. I think I want to put in a couple of more. Since there now seems to be four of these guys in here. Probably wouldn't hurt if I had, um... Yeah, because I can trade carrots and stuff to him. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt if I had another couple of composters in here. Or maybe another couple of beds. So that's something to think about. So this village here, or this double village, is pretty good sized. Um, I have cleared out most of the trees that were around here. Uh, because this place was pretty well covered with a forest. And... The plan is up here. Um, I have basically set up what is going to be a strip mine. Um, I've been over here uh, cleaning this off, and Withers stopped by a couple of times. Uh, I think, you know, I, and this is open to anybody who's on the Lifecraft server. They can come over here, and you know, if they if they just want to dig and get stone or ores or whatever there's some copper um yeah we can use the silk touch pick here to get us some copper that's cool you know so so the idea here is that i'm just gonna dig this down and go all the way to bedrock so there should be plenty of resources available from this dig for building the you know the mechanisms and stuff that they need for the community storage as well as whatever else people want you know it, it should definitely work for whatever um i do have kind of a, a you know a storage system going on over here um I'll, I, I may end up doing some uh some work in automating it. I don't know how he keeps getting out. Come on. Get in here. There you go. Alright. Um, I got a little bit of tree growing over here. Um, you know, basically anything that I need is, is being generated over here. So that I have access to everything. Um, yeah, so, so, whoops. Yeah, so we got our, yeah. <laughs> okay. That was not intended. All right, so so yeah, I, I'm basically turning this area into an industrial area that I can use to generate resources that we need for other stuff. Um, it, you know, depending on how you know, things go with the season, we may end up, you know, putting some uh, some farms over here. Um, basically, I've got this wall here to try to tr you know prevent villagers from going too far. There's plenty of villagers over here right now. I got a whole bunch of this pen that basically put themselves in here. So as long as we can protect them and stuff, we should be okay. Um, I am thinking, I, I know Master Swirl set up an iron farm, and I really don't want I, I do another one myself. But um, it probably wouldn't hurt since I'm going to be over here so much to build an iron farm. Um... What do you think? Should I build an iron farm over here? Let me know down in the comments if you think I should build an iron farm over here since, uh, you know, I'm going to be over here doing a bunch of digging. Um, or if, you know, we just use the one that exists over at Master Swirl's place. But uh, so far, things are going pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with, with the way things have worked out so far. Um, 
that's kind of my goal for the season, as I think I mentioned before, is is I just kind of want to work on community focused builds. And this is a community industrial area. You know, if if the other folks in the Livecraft server want to come over and build some sort of farm over here, they are more than welcome to do so. Um, all I ask is you leave me a couple of villagers to uh, mess around with if I need them. Um, there is some, uh, there is a beehive over here. And so I think I might end up doing a honey farm of some sort over here. I mean, if I'm going to be over here so much, I might as well have something going on over here. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, I think that is about all the time I have for this episode. Um, just really kind of a quick little update. Uh, so you can kind of see where, where I'm at with things. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.